Hi there, I'm Dan Forshaw here at Cambridge Saxophone and I have with me today the Yanagasawa 992 Curved Soprano with the uh, bronze body. I played a 992 bronze straight soprano and also the tenor and there's a couple of reviews knocking about uh, of those on the internet and on my website at Cambridge Saxophone. Now I came across uh, the Curved Soprano a number of years ago when I was um, going into my old primary school and a number of the students were playing curved sopranos. They weren't Yanagi Sawas, they were uh, much lesser made. And I've got to admit, I was, a f I was taken with them at first, I could see the point, but the thing with sopranos uh, is that they're very difficult to play in tune. And so the engineering that goes into the saxophone is absolutely critical when you're playing a soprano. And that's where Yanagi Sawa excel. Um, I would go on record, and as would many of my colleagues, to say that Yanagi Sawa make the best soprano saxophone on the market today. Uh, this is certainly another of those fantastic sopranos. So why the curve? Well I saw Jan Garbrecht, or rather heard Jan Garbrecht playing with the Hilliard Ensemble in Belfast a few years ago and I've since seen Jan uh, and spoken to him a couple of times about his approach and, and asked him why he plays a curved versus a straight. Was there an acoustic difference? Um, there is an acoustic difference when you play it yourself. Obviously the sound coming straight back up at you from the bell rather than going away from you as it does on a straight does affect how you hear the sound. But Jan said his primary reason was this thing, the neck strap. He says if you're playing a full concert um, it's very difficult to play straight with a neck strap and to play a full concert without a neck strap means you've got to have kind of like the, most, the strongest right thumb in the universe. So um, I had a few gigs coming up at Ely Cathedral uh, last month and also last week and I've put some sound clips uh, beneath this on, if you're watching this on Cambridge Saxophone, where you can hear me playing um, this saxophone uh, in a wonderful setting at Ely Cathedral, first of all in the Lady Chapel and also in the main cathedral, uh, once with the choir and also just unaccompanied. So I think that shows off the saxophone at its best, but what I will do here um, I will just fade in a couple of the clips uh, so you can hear them. Sounds wonderful, doesn't it? So let's do a quick review in here. Well, as usual, Yanagasawa, well, it's a thing of beauty. You can tell a great deal of care and engineering um, has gone into producing such a wonderful saxophone. I have a Selma uh, soloist mouthpiece, a vintage one, and also a clarinet reed. I do play clarinet reeds on soprano. I feel that it gives me a more centered tone than the soprano reeds. Although when I was doing some more avant-garde things, I do tend to use a soprano reed because I find the clarinet reeds don't necessarily allow me to do all the crazy effects that I like to do when I'm playing more free jazz or avant-garde stuff. So this is what the saxophone sounds like in this situation in uh, just my home studio. <laughs> Beautiful, I'm sure you'll agree. So, yes, what can I say more about this curved soprano? I think if you are serious about playing a lot of soprano saxophone, the curved is a very good option for you because it is hard playing a long gig with a straight soprano. I've played straight soprano now for, gosh, too long, about 18 years. Um, I started uh, straight soprano in, uh, in, uh, when I was 16 in school. I uh, played in a sax quartet and I've, I've played it non-stop since then. Um, but I've yet, to, the first um, 
Curve Sopranos I played didn't really capture my attention, but this one has, and I've fallen in love with it, and I just love playing it. It just gives a, a freedom, um, a tonal sense of back at me. I've got to admit, I don't play it a lot in a jazz setting. Um, I still prefer to go back to my straight soprano. I think that's just a matter of comfort, but when I'm playing classical, or if I'm playing these gigs with choirs and in cathedrals, ugh, this is straight in the bag. And I've got to say as well, the case is just, it looks really, really nice. Yanagasawa always make a good job of their cases. They remind me of Apple in terms of the way their holistic approach to the whole package is um, put forward. Nothing's left to chance. Everything is, is just in its place. So the Yanagasawa Curve 992, it's not that easy to get hold of them in terms of, they're not in every shop in the country, but certainly if you go to um, the main shops in London, uh, or here in Cambridge, or probably across a few of the main centres, Manchester, they're bound to have one in. If you really want to have a go at one, tell the shop to phone Yanagasawa and say, we want to try a Curve Soprano, I'm sure we'll get one down to you. So I highly recommend this Curve Soprano, and I'll leave you again with just some music from Ely Cathedral with me.